Hi everyone, welcome back to the fifth part of our video series combating fraud by optimizing operations. Um, so far, we'll give you a quick recap of what we have done so far in our previous videos. So we started off with covering the impact of fraud uh, that financial enterprises have both in terms of um, the financial losses as well as reputational damages. Then we uncovered the various type of emerging as well as conventional fraud, and we talked about the pain points or the key concerns that enterprises they have regarding the increasing fraudulent cases. Then we talked about what are the mitigation measures that enterprises they are taking to combat fraud, ranging from both operations related initiatives as well as technology related uh, initiatives. Then we talked about real life industry use cases of how enterprises they are combating fraud and we divided that section we talked about the in-house investments as well as the external third party support that enterprises they have taken so far the focus of today's video or today's discussion would be about a framework that enterprises can sort of adopt to um, understand the type of fraud that they are facing which would be followed by a self-assessment questionnaire. So I'll quickly hand it over to Subha to help us understand what this framework is all about. Over to you, Subha. Thank you, Abhilasha. So uh, we have talked about and we've seen uh, so far what are the different frauds, what are the different impact, as well as like you know the third parties being utilized. But that does bring to the question of you know how do we go about from this point onwards? So the AIM framework is designed in such a way that would help the enterprises to understand what are the requirements are going to be and identify the correct third party service providers as well as their capability requirements for the for outsourcing different kind of fraud requirements now for the aim framework if you have to talk, talk about like you know what exactly can be divided further into assess identify and mitigation assessment is basically the current state uh, assessment which is understanding what where exactly your business lies in terms of the exposure towards fraud as well as the capability requirement identification is done through using these questions to place yourself in a grid which we'll be seeing in the next series of video that will help you to understand what are the capability requirements as per the exposure towards fraud and mitigation would be the steps that would be needed to be taken in terms of whether to do an in-house investment or as well as going with a third party so third party resource to combat these kind of different frauds now for the series of questions that will help you to understand your uh, understand the requirement is something which will be looking on to which will be again being talked about from my colleague abhilasha over to you so uh, what we have here is a very simple questionnaire that organizations they can use to assess the type of frauds that they are facing the impact that those uh, type of frauds they have on their operations as well as the capability requirement to combat those fraud types. So we have bucketed the questions in two categories. The first set of questions which are highlighted in blue would basically help enterprises assess the business impact in terms of reputation or in terms of the losses that they are going to face uh, by that fraud. Uh, the second set of questions, which are on the lower half of the slide, they would help enterprises assess the capability requirement that would be needed to uh, to sort of fight that fraud. Uh, the business impact would be in terms of the frequency, the loss attributed or the compliance costs, while the capability requirement would be more in terms of what's the current degree of readiness to um, combat that fraud. How is the third party provider ability to combat that fraud? Base, uh, once the organizations have uh, collated the responses for these questions, these responses in terms of high, medium, low, or a, or, or a scale of um, how uh, severe the response or the um, fraud is for the organization, based on those responses, the organizations will be able to map those frauds and identify which would be the suitable service providers for them. Uh, this framework we will cover in the next part of our video series. Thank you for your time. Thank you.